You won't pick the difference. The diamond alternative jewels at a fraction of the cost of the real thing. Hello, I'm Ellen Fanning. Welcome to A Current Affair. Diamonds may be a girl's best friend. The problem is they cost a fortune. Well, now a new diamond lookalike has been launched on the jewellery market. It's much cheaper than the real thing. They're a fantastic solution for a woman who wants gorgeous jewellery and doesn't want to spend untold thousands. It looks very good. It looks well made. I'm not much of a... Diamond They're called diamond simulants, the latest in diamond lookalikes without the diamond price tag. I think it's clever. I mean, girls can look like a million dollars without spending anywhere near the sort of money that they'd spend on natural diamonds. Margot Gorski is spokesperson for Gordon Max, the company selling the stones in Australia. How close are they to the real thing? They're very close, actually, but they are a diamond simulant. They're not a naturally mined diamond, but they are close, yes. Do they sparkle like the real thing? Absolutely. They sure do. And if you look at them through a jeweler's loop, you get that beautiful hearts and arrows effect that you only get with a naturally mined diamond. When it comes to things that sparkle and shine, we've seen plenty of fakes, from costume jewellery to rhinestones and cheap cubic zirconias. There's a veil of secrecy over how these latest offerings are made. All we're told is that they're grown in a laboratory in Europe. And if you believe the hype, they'll save you a fortune. OK, Ben, this is a two-carat ring uh, from Gordon Max. It's $1,200. And this is a natural diamond equivalent. It's $76,000. So you're saving over $70,000. Right. Company director Michael Rusley says many of his customers are young couples who'd rather spend their money on a honeymoon or a deposit for a house instead of an expensive ring. He says pieces start from $300. This is the Gotham Max Diamond Simulant and it's retailing for $1,200. This is in natural diamonds and its value is about $5,000. Michael, what about the earrings? What's the difference in price? Ben, this is from Gotham Max and it's retailing for $779. This is the natural diamond equivalent. Uh, its value is worth about $86,000. It's a completely different product to, to cubic zirconia. It's a far superior product to cubic zirconia. I'm working with the stones and setting them in the jewellery that I've made, and I've made many, many rings now for Gordon Max. Um, they clearly are a superior stone in their hardness, um, which would indicate a better durability. So this is the cubic zirconia. Ian Murray is a jeweller with 25 years' experience. It heats up pretty quickly. Mm, very quickly. It gets very hot. And what's happened there? It's completely fractured internally. He works for Gordon Max and wanted to prove to us the diamond simulant is no cheap cubic zirconia. Well, again, this is a Gordon Max simulant of a equivalent size to the CZ, and we'll just heat this up and see what happens. What's happened there, Ian? Well, basically nothing. Um, we heated the stone up to the equivalent of the CZ, and um, nothing has actually happened to the internal structure of the stone. There's no cracks, no blemishes. It's still as it was before. But does the imitation pass the, the most two. important test? Tell me which one is the fake diamond. I have no idea, but if I was to guess, I'd say that one. Yeah. Well, that's the real one. The real one. Do you reckon they're pretty? This one's a pretty good fake. I think they look exactly the same. Wouldn't have the fog ears. They both look very good. You think they're um, pretty close? They're very close. They're very hard to tell. Isn't this an alternative to a real diamond? For fun. As costume jewellery, it's an alternative to a real diamond.